Hi Year 5! Today we're going to learn about adaptations. This is in page 42 to 48 of your textbook. So your lesson objective is to identify how organisms use their adaptations. Your steps to success is to learn how organisms adapt for protection, getting food, and staying warm. So, adaptations. Adaptations are special characteristics that help animal live in a habitat. So, adaptation ani macam ada a uh, special character arah binatang atau supaya dapat tinggal di mana ya tinggal atau. So, for example, let's look at some adaptation of the cheetah. So here we have a pretty pretty cheetah. So it has a long tail to balance and change direction quickly when running. So cheetah ani is the fastest land animal on earth. So because ya very very fast, it needs a long tail supaya ya boleh ke kiri ke kanan very very quickly so that it can catch its prey. It has yellow fur and black spots to help hide from other animals. So, ya mau amper-amper ya punya prey ato. So, ya punya fur ane diubah supaya match sama rumput di mana ya tinggal di Afrika. If the gender salah, Afrika. And then, a cheetah has powerful leg muscles to allow the cheetah to run very fast. So, ya run very fast because ya punya muscle, ya punya otot, very, very strong. Okay, so now, let's talk about adaptation for protection. So, adaptation ani boleh digunakan untuk melindungi diri sendiri. For example, A porcupine fish will bloat up and show its spine when it is in danger. It will look bigger to scare off animals. So here you can see it becomes bloaty, it becomes circular. Masa wala wala, nadat nampak ya punya spikes. But as it feels like is its danger, it becomes round and shows off its spikes. Uh, spines. Or spikes, it doesn't really matter. Next, a clownfish. A clownfish will hide in sea anemone. So the wiggly wiggly things at the namanya sea anemone. The Nemo fish, they are called clownfish. So they hide in the sea anemone because the sea anemone hurts other animals. So if ya rasa in the slamat, ya tapok ara sea anemone ani, and the sea anemone will hurt other animals. Some animals travel in groups to move in different directions and confuse predators. So, biya ada bukumpul banyak-banyak. So, sekiranya ada ikan nyu datang ke sana, ya kan mau makan ikan ani. Ikan ani terabang ke kiri sama ke kanan, ada yang ke atas, ada yang ke bawah. So that the ikan nyu atu confuse mana ikan kan ku agak. Bis dorong semua lain-lain direction. Uh, macam bila kamu main sama cara sama kawan-kawan kamu. If kamu in the focus arah one person, pisto orang lari sini sana, confused tak kamu siapa kan ku agak. Next, camouflage. So some animals can camouflage. So camouflage is when an animal can blend with its surroundings to hide from other animals. For example, the leaf insect looks like a leaf. So it can hide in... Uh, a leaf so that from above, uh, birds can't see that it's actually an insect. It just looks like a leaf from really, really high. There's also the rock fish. So there's the fish, which pretends it is a rock so that it can hide from predators. Okay, plants also have adaptations. So for example, the allovera, to survive hot weather, some plants have fleshy stems to store water in case there is little rain. So, bis dorong punya daun, uh, tijer cakap stem sini, tapi kadang-kadang the leaves, the leaves are fleshy. So, fleshy ni artinya macam uh, thick 
and squishy. So, dapat dia simpan air rata supaya bila panas sama nada air, uh, hujan, dapat dia survive masih for a bit longer. Some plants also have spiny leaves. So, dia punya uh, daun atau berduri sama poisonous fruit. Dia punya buah atau beracun to prevent animals from eating them. Supaya binatang indah makan plants atau. Getting food. So a hummingbird has thin, long beak that helps it reach nectar deep inside flowers. So biasanya burung ya punya beak just this short. Tapi the hummingbird has a very long beak so that it can reach until the end here to get the nectar untuk ya makan. Another example is a woodpecker has strong short beak. So, macam, macam tukul, macam hammer, atau macam drill. So that it can reach the insects living inside the barks of trees. Atau hiding inside the barks of trees. So, biasanya insect satu bertapuk arah lubang-lubang di dalam pukukan ni. Bawah the layer yang macam banyak wrinkle-wrinkle uh, ni. So, the woodpecker atau buang all the outer parts supaya dapat ya sampai to the insects on the inside. A chameleon has a strong sticky tongue to catch insects. So, sekiranya insect itu kan terabang, it can use its tongue to go and grab the insect. Some animals use venom to kill or paralyze animals. So for animals that eat meat, they use their poison to kill the animal first so that they can just eat and swallow it without the animal moving around. For other animals, such as the tiger and the eagle, they can have sharp teeth or claws to catch and kill other animals. So, bisa orang indah berguna racun, bisa orang guna bisa orang punya gigi atau kuku yang tajam. For an eagle, it has a beak that helps it tear off meat from its food. So, daging mentah ini biasanya payahkan di uh, putong. That's why the eagle has a beak so that's very sharp and can act macam ala-ala pisau supaya dapat dia memutong sama uh, makan uh, daging binatang lain. Surviving in the cold. So some plants shed leaves in winter to prevent losing water from evaporation. So they lose the leaves so that when it's snowing, they don't lose their water. Not when it's snowing, when it's cold. For animals, such as polar bears and penguins, they both have fat under the skin to keep them warm. And for most animals, kebanyakan binatang such as uh, bears, atau cats, atau birds, they have fur and feathers to stay warm. Okay, time for your work. Please complete activity 14, which is page 22 to 25 in your workbook. Good luck, you fives.